Well, the fire, she's lit. Yeah, I cheated. I gotta get me a ferro rod. Then I'm gonna be like Bentley's backwoods bushcraft. Hey, you got it right. So yeah, got some cooking going on. Hey y'all, welcome back to Calvin's Corner 72. Today, out here on the corner, we're going to be making some uh, zucchini bread. First time I've ever tried it. First time ever. And uh, saw a good video on it. Thought, hey, if they can do it, okay, I'm going to see if they can do it. And that means you can do it. Because there ain't nobody. Um, the ingredients today um, are going to be... going to need uh, three cups of um, all-purpose flour, um, any brand, it doesn't matter. Um, we're going to need a little bit of salt, we got some salt here. We're going to need some baking powder, we're going to need some baking soda. We're going to need um, finely cut and ground up and dried. It's very important you got to dry this zucchini, okay? We've already ground it up, uh, really fine flakes you see that or not and it's uh, been dried um, three eggs and fresh out of the chicken farm uh, little canola oil and some uh, apparently I can't afford to buy any more vanilla or real good vanilla imitation that's what I've got so to imitation vanilla flavoring need a little cinnamon and the recipe calls for a 10 inch Dutch oven which is what I've got but it, you can use butter to lather it up inside. But what I'm going to be using today is these baking sheets and a trivet. I'm going to be laying it. And that, and that, and that I'm hoping is because the, the video I saw, they used the butter. And what happened was it burnt the bottom. And I don't want to burn the bottom. So I'm going to use this trivet to kind of give it about that much lift off the bottom. So hopefully it'll stop that. And... Uh, of course, we gotta have some sugar. Always gotta have some sugar. You'll need a large bowl and a medium bowl, and of course, all your measuring devices. There you go. All right. Fire's lit. Coals going. It's time to get going. Let's start cooking. All right. I'm gonna start uh, mixing up the wet ingredients first. I'm sorry, the dry ingredients. You wanna mix up the dry ingredients first. We're outside and uh, things tend to get in the bowl. Okay, first thing we're gonna need, it says it's three cups of all-purpose flour. There we go. to the side because I don't want to make no mess. Teaspoon of salt. There it is. Alright. Baking soda. Teaspoon of baking soda. Whew. There she is. Got to get her baking powder. baking powder. Y'all getting this right? Alright. Now, we gotta get um, our cinnamon. How much cinnamon is supposed to be? Three tablespoons of cinnamon. Wow. This thing is gonna be cinnamony. Say that three times. Cinnamony. Cinnamon. Never mind. One. Two. 
dos oh my god three ish okay y'all quit laughing all right now uh you know i understand why it says do all the dry ingredients and um, it doesn't include the sugar because sugar is dry right but nonetheless we're going to go to the next step all right that's it i see it right there for the dry ingredients and now we're going to go to the all right let's mix up the wet ingredients now just because it says the wet ingredients first i'm going to do this dry ingredient which is sugar I don't know why it included sugar in the wedding room. Who cares, right? All right. What we need in the sh for the sugar is we need two and a quarter cups of white sugar. And I hope we got two and a quarter cups here. And we don't. I'm going to call that two cups. And uh, my assistant's gonna get some more. All right, I thought I had enough. All right, here's some wet ingredients. Don't ask me, that's what it said. Okay, let's do the eggs. Woo! Good old eggs. Gotta love good old eggs. Chicken eggs, right out of the farm. Ooh, that one's fertilized. <laughs> Just more protein, right? All right, good shape, cool. All right, got the eggs, got the sugar. We need to do the oil. Now, how much oil we gotta have? One cup. We're gonna flip it over here on this side. Now, that's a lot of oil, ain't it? Woo wee! Probably been better to have vest. I mean, uh, I'm using canola oil. But it's probably been better to use olive oil. But... How about that? Look at there. There's a big old cup of that. I got the sugar. We got the oil. We got the eggs. We got to mix the vanilla in. So, all right, here comes the cheap old vanilla. One teaspoon. What's it? One teaspoon? Golly. What is it? I can't find it. Three teaspoons. Boy, I bet we won't have enough of this either. One. Two. Yeah, we got three. Cool. Guess I'm going to have to make a run to the uh, food line, huh? All right, cool. And, uh... My assistant brought me some more sugar. I can tell you who that is. Right. There's that quarter cup we was missing. But you know I can't miss out on any calories, right? I had enough. All right, cool. So uh, we got all the wet ingredients. Now what I go. I forgot to include it. You need to go ahead and mix all the dry ingredients. Pretty good. Now, mix all the wet ingredients. It says really good. So it went from good to really good. Wow, I should have got a wire whisk or something. I think it'll do. Now, what we've got to do is get our dry ingredients. 
and we've got to mix in our wet. This would be fun to make camping or, or anywhere, really. I like it because, you know, it's just mix and slap it in there and go with it, you know what I mean? It's not a whole lot to it, not a, not, not a lot of thinking and just do a little mixing and, and you can always prepackage every bit of this stuff, have it ready to go and then when you get out there, just throw it in your Dutch oven, I mean, knock it out, you know, and it wouldn't take no time you'd have some good old zucchini bread. So we got the... Baking soda, salt, all purpose flour, salmon, eggs, vegetables, oil, sugar, vanilla extract. All we like to put in here now is our nuts. You can use walnuts, almonds, uh, pecans, peanuts, Spanish peanuts, you know, any kind. I know if my peanuts were ready, I could use them, right? But they're not ready. <laughs> I'm really hoping they turn out, y'all. If y'all watching or keeping up with my channel, then you know I've got some peanuts planted, and they should be coming along, and I hope they turn out pretty well. All right, don't want to do too much kneading of this. Now the zucchini is supposed to be folded in with the nuts. Now it says one one cup of chopped walnuts. These ain't chopped. They're pretty much whole. Man, what the heck, right? Use the whole bag. I just had a little bit left anyways. So, I'm going to fold this in. Don't want to stir it. I just want to kind of fold it in. Get Kind of get it in there. Not really too much. Just... All right, that's my folder. And then, here goes the zucchini. That is two cups of grated zucchini. We're gonna fold that in. And I'm gonna make a mess doing it. But I'm gonna do it. It's gonna happen. Y'all getting bored, you can go get your cup of coffee or something. Open your beer. Make your milkshake. Remember, this zucchini's got to be dried. Don't add any extra moisture to this. What we do is just roll it up in a paper towel. You say you can roll it up in a in a paper shirt or, or I mean a paper 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 plate, paper uh, newspaper, paper towel, uh, folding towel, whatever. Okay, now that's good and folded in. What I'm gonna do now is in my 10 inch Dutch oven. I've got my trivet in here. And this trivet actually went to, um, it actually went to a, uh, another type of a cooking device, some kind of casserole dish, and I stole it. You can stop talking. Just for today, though. Just for today. Alright, All right, let's put this, see if we can get this in here. Man, I tell you, this looks good. I've never made this before, and I've heard several people bring it up. And uh, Miss Betty, my assistant, has um, she's the one that brought this to my attention. She said, "Well, how about we just make some zucchini bread?" So that's what we're making today: zucchini bread. Never done it before. First time. 
So you know, if I try it and it works, okay, you people that know how to bake for real, you can do it. Another thing is, if this don't work, you won't ever see the video. Sorry. All right. I'm going to put it on over here. What it says is, okay, you're supposed to put seven coals. If you're using charcoals, you're supposed to put seven charcoals underneath. I know, I know, hush. And then 14 on top. So I'm going to try to figure out how, how many 14 and 7 is with a shovel and some charcoal that I made. So, All right, here we go. Fourteen to me. timer cook it for one hour it takes one hour it should be good so one hour from now all thumbs up i hope cross fingers scouting's corner 72 we'll be Tell you that right there. Y'all don't know. Man, that smells great. Can y'all see that right there? Look at that. Man. That smells so good. Alright, Miss Betty's kind of worried. Follow me. I'm gonna just try to loosen this up right here. Oh, you see how easy that is right there? Look. See that? Come out of there so easy. Alright. What I'm gonna do, check this out. Alright, Don't get no better than that. Look at that, how clean. Good. 
There's my trivet. Man, that's pretty good right there. Look at that. Just barely, barely burnt. Not bad at all. Really, not bad at all. Really, really, really good. Really awesome. All right. This is a cooling pan, cooling uh, tray. Now, look at that. Y'all can't tell me. That that ain't going to be good. Holy moly. All right, y'all. Hey, as soon as this cools off, I'm coming back. I'm coming back as soon as this cools off. And we're going to put the knife to it. And we're going to put it in and see what's up. Y'all come back. It's soon. time to cut this sucker. It smells so good. Y'all don't know. Oh, God. I hope it's a little bit ooey-gooey in the middle. Here we go. Man, this thing is moist. Holy crap. I'm going to tell you what. These people pay good money for this right here. You don't have to be up in the dang on big... Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that? Good God. Zoom in on it. I don't them see that. Ooh. Look how moist it is. Holy moly. And all them nuts in there. Oh. This ought to be against the law. I swear. I think I hear siren. Yeah, they're coming down the road right now. Because they smell it. Oh my God. I don't even know why I got a plate for it. Look at this. How, you can see it. It's just moist. Look at them big old nuts in there. It's M's English walnuts, too. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, I thought... <laughs> I forgot I was doing a video. I went south on y'all, didn't I, boy? Hey, look. This right here is the bomb. That's pretty good for old redneck, ain't it? Never, never done this before. It's the first time I ever looked. Perfectly charred, browned on the bottom. Now, I want y'all to look at this. Zoom in on this. Look how moist. See, you can, you can paint it until this stay there. It is so moist. Look at them peanuts. Look at them walnuts. Oh, my God. Oh. I'll be fighting my boys over this. Oh, my God. This with a little bit of that dang homemade ice cream I made. Son. Mm. Listen. I'll have the recipe with the list right down below in, 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 the, in the comments below. Believe me. Just go in there and you can copy and paste it and make your own. I'm glad y'all come to Calvin's Corner Semi to today. I'm glad Miss Betty talked me into making this zucchini bread. It's awesome. It's off the chain. First time I ever did it. it looks like I scored a hundred. Y'all come back and see me. This is Calvin's Corner Semi to. And like Chris Collier says, peace. I'm out. Holla at you.